So a good drill for the, uh, the trail arm on the downswing is to position and place, okay, and then rotate. So what I mean by that is, uh, so we've done this again for the backswing before. So for the downswing, I want you to feel as though the right elbow is going to reconnect, then you're going to unhinge, and then just down to here. So club is just behind that right leg. Maybe if you're on a driving range mat, just at the start of the mat. From there, turn through. Okay, so it's going to feel like you're just going up to the top and you're training the right positions at the right time. Okay, so that is going to be top of the backswing. And that right arm's in front of the right in front of the right shoulder. If I'm not rotating with this, it's going to feel like the elbow reconnects, unhinges. Yeah, and then the wrist unhinges. So it's reconnect, unhinges. Feels top of the backswing, reconnect, unhinge. Okay, and try and speed it up. So you get it, top of the backswing, reconnect, unhinge. Again, club will be just in line with, let's say, just sort of behind the, uh, just behind the mat or just on, on at the end of the driving range mat and then turn, okay? Now be careful when you do it because we want to, get into this position. So we're not gonna necessarily fully unhinge that left arm. Okay, all it is, is just trying to get the feeling that you can turn and get everything in the right place. You're just picking what points you wanna be stopping at to really identify how they feel, okay? But we don't wanna be getting into a case of top of the back swing, reconnect, completely unhinge. And you can see there, that does get me into a bit of a bad position for that point. So be careful with this one, making sure that when you're doing it, you're keeping a tiniest bit, a tiniest bit of hinge once you're here to turn through with and feel that like you can release through with it. So as you turn through, you should still feel as though there is a nice release going through. <laughs>